good afternoon in last lecture we were discussing about common base configuration of a transistor so remaining part we discuss now in detail common base configuration of a transistor name itself says that there is a common one electrode to both input and output i mean base is common to input as well as output input is provided between two ports emitter and base whereas output is collected across collector and base so whenever such a configuration is there then we will get three parameters three currents that is base current collector current and emitter current in last lecture we have seen then question are the arises which one is more which one is least and why it is and our current depends upon what factor so that also we are discussing in detail base current depends upon i mean current any current current may be emitter current may be a base current may be collector current it depends upon what that point we have to see the polarity of vbe i mean base emitter voltage and the direction of base current ib associated with the pn junction between emitter and base are the same as those associated with the diode voltage polarity positive on p negative on n current direction from p to n but vcb i mean potential difference across collector and base and the direction of collector current ic associated with the pn junction between base and collector are defined oppositely remember what is given here direction of base current direction of collector current are defined oppositely their directions are in opposite direction this point one has to remember now we have seen ic and ib are oppositely directed the polarity of vb polarity of vb direction i we have seen in the same way direction of collector current we have seen i will show you in figure also at present you remember ib and ic i mean base current and collector current are oppositely directed the behavior of n pn transistor is determined by its two pn junctions you know every transistor has two junctions pn junctions uh, what is its behavior how is to be determined its behavior so with the help of two pn junctions we can or one can determine the behavior of the npn transistor the forward bias the emitter bias emitter base junction emitter base pn junction is forward bias it allows the majority charge carriers the electrons in n type emitter to go through the pn junction to arrive at the p type base forming the emitter current ie this uh, point i will show you in figure here what we have mentioned emitter diode is forward bias you know and transistor what we have taken n pn n in the stands n in the sense num majority carriers number of majority carriers is electron and p stands for holes electrons carry negative charge protons uh, holes carry positive charge and in case of forward bias you know here n in the sense negative terminal of the battery is connected to n type and p in the sense positive terminal of the battery is connected to the p type 
so here majority carriers in n type is uh, n type material charge carriers are electrons and in n type of emitter the the junction allows to carry the majority carrier electrons to go through the pn junction to arrive at the base i mean at the p type of base i mean electrons are going to pass from n type of material to p type of material but while transferring the electrons from n type to p type of junction diode they have to cross the junction from n to p so here number of electrons they overcome the junction of a transistor while transferring or while moving from n type to p type n type emitter to p type base and because of such a flow of electrons from n type of emitter to p type of base there is a formation of current that current is said to be what emitter current and it is denoted by i suffix e remember this current is formed because of what flow of electrons from n type of emitter to p type of base denoted by ie known as emitter current i will show you in figure also here you see these dots are shown and here green color is shown for base this reddish color is shown for emitter these electrons are what propagating from n type of material to p type of material you are getting it or not you carefully observe n type to p type n to p electrons are going to move going to transfer from n type to p type while transferring they have to cross this junction that is for, oh, while crossing the electrons from n to p they are going to cross this junction this is what emitter base junction they are crossing it as why they are crossing it because this emitter diode i mean n p n is connected to what terminal you see negative and this p is terminal connected to what positive holes so this diode is in forward bias because of this forward biasing these electrons are propagating in this direction you know charge of electrons is negative and this negative terminal of the battery is connected to this uh, here so they repel each other that's why electrons didn't move towards left they are going to move towards right and they cross this junction of np diode pn junction diode and there is a formation of what emitter current ie direction is shown you know direction of the conventional direction of electric current is opposite to the direction of electrons so in this way there is a formation of current takes place that is said to be emitter current got it so we have seen what emitter current i now as the base is thin current base current depends upon what you know base is lightly doped between two same type of semiconductors only small number of electrons from emitter are combined with the majority carrier holes in the p type of base to form the base current i'll show you again figure here number of electrons is more in n type material in p type material number of holes is what here very less i mean because this is lightly doped so that we say and the base current depends upon what this lightly doped p type of material base current depends upon doping of the material the as holes are very less so number of electrons they accommodate or they allows to pass through this base is very less so base current is very small or we say very less here i'll show you again 
as the base of the thin base is thin and lightly doped only small number of electrons from the emitter about 1% are combined with the majority carriers the holes in the p type of base to form the base current why base current is small because only 1% of electrons from the emitter they combine to form yes the base current depends only upon the small number of electrons from the emitter are combined with the majority carriers holes in the p type of base to form the base current ib the percentage of i mean percentage of current depends on the doping got it this base current percentage depends upon what doping and the geometry of the material it also depends upon doping and what type of geometry of that material so these two factors are these two factors are there forming the base current i mean percentage of base current the behavior of in print transistor is defined determined by what two terms i already we have seen and one more interesting point is what in figure you see here i e here base current and here what collector current there is a surely this relation between base current collector current and emitter current what is that relation how it is that which one is more as compared to ib ie and ic and how they are related most of the electrons from emitter c most of the electrons from emitter about 99% the now the minority carriers in the p type base can go through the reverse biased collector base pn junction to arrive at the n type collector forming the collector current i mean collector current how it is formed here minority carriers in the p type of base i'll show you here what are the minority carriers in the p type of base they are holes and can go through the reverse biased collector base pn junction to arrive at the end type of collector forming the collector current you see here here minority holes are there and here majority electrons are there charge carriers here minority holes are going to cross minority here they are going to cross this junction collector junction and collector current is formed and direction of you know the minority charge carriers is from this to this i mean it is the opposite to the unconventional direction of current is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons and so that direction of current is like this got it and the relation important term is that relation between these three currents base current emitter current and collector current is what collector current is nothing but the difference of emitter current to base current so if we think about these three currents which one is greater surely emitter current is what large as compared to base and collector current because if we take ib to the left side then ie is nothing but ic plus ib that's why emitter current is more as compared to collector current and base current also i mean emitter current is the sum of base current and collector current and there is one more important factor is that current gain of the transistor the current gain of a transistor is the nothing but the ratio of ratio in this circuit it depends it is denoted by the what alpha and this alpha is nothing but the ratio between collector current ic treated as in output and the emitter current ie is treated as what input in this way the alpha i mean current gain of a transistor is nothing but the ratio of ic to ie so in this way so surely we have seen that ic is smaller than ie that's why 
करंट गेन इज शुअर लेस दैन वन थैंक यू